Hey everybody, it's the Hi-Fi Brothers. And today we're gonna to talk about Buckeye Amps. Let's do this. Well, welcome to today's episode, everybody. Yeah, bro, so today we're gonna talk about the Buckeye amp, the reason why I recently just picked up this amplifier just a couple weeks ago. Let's get into this. Yeah, for sure, and before we actually get into the product review, I thought we could give our viewers kind of a, uh, like a history about Buckeye amps, what yeah. they're about. I think that'd be a good idea, Ralph, just to share a little bit of history, so why don't you give our viewers uh, that background? Absolutely, so uh, uh, Dylan Longer, if, if, uh, if I'm not mistaken, um, he actually uh, f founded this company in 2020. Was uh, building these things through his home. Now, what he did was that these new Hypex and Purify modules uh, are a lot easier to build and they're easier to maintain as well. That's why they're at a cheaper price and very affordable, to be honest with you. So Buckeye Amps, they're known for their Hypex modulation. Um, it's very low distortion, okay, and extremely low uh, signal to noise ratio. So um, when you're when you're playing music or home theaters, um, you're not gonna hear that hissing like I had a problem with in the past. Mm -hmm. um, also, um, the, uh, they're a class D uh, amplification, believe it or not. All right, bro, so is there anything else that you know you wanna provide to the uh, uh, viewers? Um, if to know more about Buckeye Amps, I would just uh, check the link in our description that goes directly to the website, and you can learn more about their history, mm -hmm. some other like videos that he's done with uh, some other people in the hi-fi community, and just learn more about their amps. All right, Ralph, that's pretty awesome, man. So how did you learn about Buckeye Amps? You know, I've learned about Buckeye Amps from a friend, actually. I went on BuckeyeAmps.com and I and I saw their amplifiers and stuff like that, Mondo. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to look at these real quick. I scrolled down and I saw what I wanted. I needed an 8-channel amplifier, believe it or not. And it came across that and I, uh, NC502. And I tell you what, I my eyes were drawn to it and... I was like, I need to purchase this thing. Yeah, and that's the and that's the product that we're actually going to review for you all right now. What was the exact product you got again? So it's an eight, it's an eight channel amplifier. Um, it's basically it's a, a Hypex uh, Encore. It has uh, RCA and XLR inputs. How exactly are you using the amp right now in your home theater system? Using it for all my speakers, except for the uh, three main uh, speakers plus uh, an Atmos. All right, Ralph, that's awesome, man. So. You've had the amp for how long now? I had it for about a month. Okay, and I guess just, yeah. you know, you've had it for a short amount of time. Yeah. What feedback do you have for our viewers? Like, what are some, let's start with the pros. What are the pros about the, the amp so far? So the pros about the amp, right out of the box, it's not that heavy, actually. It's it's really light. I can use XLR or uh, RCA inputs. Um, it has a 12-volt trigger, or it has an auto on-off feature, believe it or not, which is really cool. So when, I, when it draws to signal one, or the, the first channel, it'll automatically turn on. I hear no hissing, I hear no buzzing. The sound out of it is actually really, really good. I would say the con is that on-off feature. The reason why is because basically it turns on, but it stays on, you know, this is, there's, a t there's a 10 minute uh, interval between the on-off and what happens is that sometimes it'll it'll draw too much uh, power and then it'll um, it'll overheat a little bit. I've noticed that. One thing I noticed is that it's a very basic looking yeah. amp. That that's one of the reasons why the cost of these amps are extremely low compared to others that actually have these modules in yep, there. That's right. Is you're buying these for a fraction of the price. So that's that is going to be the one of the things that maybe a lot of you will see as like, wow, that's a very basic looking amplifier. And there's a reason for that. All right, Ralph. Well, another question I actually have for you is you've had a lot of different amps over the last few years yes. um, since we've been making videos. A lot of uh, our viewers, probably our subscribers, have came in from a lot of reviews we've done from Evotiva. Those of you that have been following our Instagram pages too, uh, which, you know, please go to our Instagram page. Please follow us and send us a DM too. Like ask us any question you want in regards to Hi-Fi. Yep. But yeah, how do they, how do Buckeye amps compare to the other ones that you've had? I would say this amplifier is, exceeds my expectation, bro. I mean, it really does. Uh, my Emotivas, they were pretty good, but I still had that hiss in there and it was kind of bothering me. Even with my fan on, I can hear the hissing. I'm like, ah, I, I got so irritated about that. <laughs> do you plan on adding some more Buckeye amps to your setup? Absolutely. So the one that I'm actually going to get is a three channel, the NC504, I think, and it's gonna power my three, my front three channels. A little bit more power, it actually handles uh, 
better at four ohms and stuff like that and it actually does two ohms believe it or not so if anything that dips below four ohms it's actually really good because then it, you know it'll get all that sound added what you need all right bro well let's uh let's get into some final thoughts so Absolutely. yeah i would say for for any of you that uh that have never heard of buckeye before or maybe you are familiar with them and you're hesitant about pulling the trigger on some of their amps mm -hmm. please go to their website if you need to start out um one amp to point out to you all is going to be their purify uh three channel and that's going to be great for anybody who needs something for their lcr their their left center and right mm -hmm. channel or the hype x amps to to power your your the rest of your home theater system dylan he's really fully engaged you know in anything that you you know you, that you're trying to find figure out for your needs um you email him he'll email you right back um, if there's a problem with the amp, he'll email you right back. That's that's how fully engaged he is. Yeah, and I think that's pretty awesome too about having a hi-fi company that is extremely engaged with the community, such as the owner who really is he like feeds off the feedback of the people that buy his products and it's only he knows it's only going to help him make his products even better but other than that ralph i think that concludes our video absolutely bro so make sure you like and subscribe and hit that notification button and as always keep, keep it, it hi-fi hi